up guys monster gen fanatic here we're at my local walmart i see this new dragon playset, but i don't really collect the play sets i might just be getting it for the variants but no way they have these awesome i've been looking for those forever just kidding no one wants those for the new two packs here uh they have these i think i have that one but there are a couple on the back here that i still need like that one actually i need all three of those i think i have that one but those other two right there i think i need those um, we'll keep an eye out for those. And I just find found this hiding. I actually need this, but I don't know. Let's go look for the Easter shippers for uh, Mix 22. All right, well, this is kind of in the middle of everything, so hopefully I don't look too dumb, but they do have Mix 22. Now, the big question is, do they have all of them, or at least Lumberjack, because I doubt they have the chase piece. It looks kind of picked through, but so far we have Storm Damage, Blackout Tour Local, Monster Mutt, Max Contrast Dragon. Let's see, we do need this Max D. This one looks pretty common here. And we have this grave digger. Thought this one would be harder to find. Need a couple more. Uh let's see. Come on. Oh, there we have it. Lumberjack. Let's go. We need the legend and I guess the chase piece. And I think that's all actually. One, two, three, four. Yep, so let me look. I don't think they have the legend. Because I can see the bottom row and I don't see the legend. That and the grandma are always so scalped here for some reason. So I'll come back to you guys if I find it or the chase piece. All right, well, they had no more. Uh, they didn't have the chase piece or the legend for some odd reason, but we did get seven out of the nine right here. So now got to take a picture for the thumbnail. Okay, guys, we are back home and I actually have a pile of trucks here for you guys for once. Finally hit the jackpot in a store. The drought is officially over in my opinion, I think. Hopefully Mix 23 will be out somewhat relatively soon Um, because you guys know how long it took to get from like Mix 16 to Mix 17. We got Mix 16 around this time last year and then we didn't start finding Mix 17 for until like maybe summertime. So hopefully the gap between this mix that I just found and the next mix won't be that long but we have a lot of trucks for you guys today i have seven trucks i found seven out of the nine the only two trucks i did not find was the grain grave digger and then the chase piece son of a digger i'll end up buying that offline because i already know for sure basically for sure that i will not be finding that in stores but we are going to jump right into the first truck which one should we open first honestly i think we should start right off with the see-through crew max d Another thing I'm super excited for at Mix 22 and just this year in general is we have three different accessories. This being one of them, the barrel. The other two is uh, crushable cars and the ramp. This is probably my least favorite out of the three uh, accessories. But let's take a look at the poster real quick. First off, let's take a look at the truck that we have on it. It'd be cool if it was Lumberjack, but it is Monster Mutt. It's actually in the arena. That's actually, that's pretty cool. And then on this side, I'm sure it is just Mix 22 right here. Pretty cool. And then we have the World Finals track right there. I think that background right there is the photo that Monster Jam OCD uses for like the background of his thumbnails, if I'm correct. Then we have Megalodon, Dragonoid right there, and then the Monster logo in between. So there is that. Here is the see-through crew Max D, and unlike the um, kind of like X-Ray series that we got in 2021, um, the body itself is metal and it is not transparent. But what is, is the chassis right here is transparent. As you can see, the roll cage isn't, it's just silver. And then the wheels here are transparent as well. It's like an orangish, the tires are not transparent. So so kind of a letdown here. I really wanted to see the x-ray bodies continue into 2022, but you know what? What can you do about it? For the next truck, we're gonna do, hmm, I don't know. There's a lot of good trucks here. We'll, we'll do Monster Mutt next. I don't know what series this is from, but it's the Mutts. So it's Monster Mutt. Let's take it out of the package. And this is the perfect opportunity to show the second uh, accessory for this year. Here is the crushed car. Honestly, it's kind of accurate to be honest. Like from car to monster truck ratio, it's about right. I mean, it is a crushed car, so it's gonna be kind of flat already, but the width of the car and the length is about um, what a, a normal car is, 164 scale, obviously, not obviously a real life size car, but from car to truck ratio, it looks about right in 164 scale ratio. Pretty cool. We have gray rims and the BKT lettering on the tires. Very awesome. The buy itself, of course, is plain. The ears are down though. We are finally getting the updated ears down version of this truck with the brown tail. Of course, very, very awesome truck. I love Monster Mutt. I love uh, Charlie Pocket is doing a very good job in Monster Mutt this season. Cannot wait to see if he makes it to the World Finals. I'm sure he will, but hopefully he can win this series. Um, for the next one, we'll do the Black El Toro Loco. Now, this one isn't too crazy. I mean, we did just get the Black El Toro Loco chase piece last year in Mix 17. This is basically just the chase piece without the painted exhaust um, and the axles, but we'll still take it out of the package. Of course, we collect everything, and we'll take a quick look at it. Guys, I'm being honest. I didn't even plan this, but we got 
every accessory in the first three trucks so here is the final one the third one this is the ramp the ramp kind of starts off weird it's like at a half like a circle right here but the ramp itself it's actually kind of cool i think this is very very cool for the uh, monster dirt i don't really use it a lot but i have plenty of monster dirt so if i ever want to use it for a truck i mean it's kind of narrow like you have to line the truck up perfect if you want to get it up the ramp but there you go i mean my studio you can't really rock the truck up but there is the black El Toro Loco. Have these uh, yellowish, orangish uh, wheels with the BKTs. Black tires, black roll cage, black chassis. Very, very clean looking. That's the first time we've gotten a black chassis on the black El Toro Loco, and I think it is extremely clean looking. That is awesome. Check that out right there. And then we have the black El Toro Loco, of course, is the same. You can see what the body looks like, but the black really just brings out the, the orange on the truck, and that's just awesome. It is all blacked out, except the wheels, of course, but that is a very clean casting. Good job, Spin Master. I'm glad I got that. For the next one, I held off on this just because oh, this truck is just so cool to me in general. Storm damage, like, I cannot believe they, they made the storm damage, especially so early. This was in the first doubles mix of 2019. This was the first monster truck I got next to the Blue Thunder. I mean, I got these this in Blue Thunder in a two-pack, and that was the first two-pack I ever opened. And uh, here it is two years later, the second time they've released it. First time in singles. Let's take it out of the packet. And we get a barrel again. It's the same color. Hopefully they come out with different color barrels and uh, crush cars. The ramps, I honestly don't care if it's the same color. I mean, they all should be brown anyway. I mean, it's color of dirt. That's what ramps are made out of, it's dirt. So I'm fine with the ramps all being brown, but color barrels, I mean, do red, do green. Same with the cars, purple, whatever, yellow. Um, but there's the barrel. Here is storm damage, orange wheels to match that black El Toro Locos. Actually, I think the black El Toro Locos is a bit lighter. This is a more um, genuine orange, blue uh, roll cage, silver chassis. That looks very good. The, the body itself is, I, I believe, the same as the other one. I'm actually gonna bring the other one down to see a difference here. Let's bring this one down. The, dang, this one's kind of dusty. Uh, don't mind that. But the difference, all there is, this one has a chrome chassis. This one has a gray. The new one has the orange wheels, of course. This one has the gray. I think this one's a lot, lot cleaner looking, but um, they're both very, very awesome. And then this little piece right here on the back, the new one is just bald. The last one, kind of they tried kind of covering up with the black which i appreciate more because this one kind of looks um kind of wonky in my opinion but that's just me uh, again i collect all the variants um if you guys do you understand so i'll still pick this up for sure and plus storm damage this truck is just very very awesome in general and knowing they can do this uh old chevy body um that opens a lot of opportunities and i know they can do with uh, other uh bodies like king crunch el matador whatever all right so for the next one we have three left we'll do the max contrast megalodon check this guy out very awesome truck the back also um that is what the backs uh backs look like um i think i already showed you but i didn't really go over it and specify here's the max contrast megalodon Then I just say that I really wish they would do different colors for the crush car and barrels and I could not give a crap if the ramp is a different color and they actually like made the ramp a different color and that I, after I said I don't really care if they're all brown because they should be anyway but we have a white dirt ramp right here very very interesting kind of ironic so they can just pile one like that very uh very convenient so we have the max contrast megalodon now the max contrast series is really growing on me especially this one this one's really cool it actually has a glossy finish is this the first glossy finish done like megalodon that we have gotten because i don't remember any other megalodon casting having this glossy paint but here is the max contrast the fins are still plastic it's a separate piece on um, the chassis right here is white the roll cage is black tires are white wheels are black and just those are just like every other max contrast for the grave digger for example that part of the truck is usually the same but for the truck here it looks like the darker blue parts are black and the lighter blue is white i mean it makes sense on um, the top right here i don't know if they just uh, just didn't like pay any mind and didn't put any detail on the top or if they actually wanted to go for this look but it kind of looks bald and all white on the on the roof here the hood whatever the eyes right there, they're all black. The teeth are white. Megalodon logo is white. Monster symbol still has the yellow like trim around it. That's the only part of this truck that is not black and white. Um, there's a little bit of yellow in the monster logo. That's all. So for the final two, this is technically a new truck. We have not gotten the green grave digger yet. I can just see the uh, body swaps already. Um, a lot of people just swap in the green grave digger on a clean body like this, but obviously not with the yellow wheels. I don't think that would look good on this truck. But um. For the first time we have gotten the green world finals grave digger and of course we had to get the the tacky green wheels and green tires but let's take it out of the package and take a look at it nonetheless 
And we got our third ramp. This one actually is brown as well. That's not bad. I will take it. I won't complain. And here it is. And despite it having the green tires, green wheels, this is actually a very, very clean grade digger. I love this one. I loved when um, Mattel came out with this in 2016. This looks beautiful. First time getting it, like I said, um, you know, take, just ignore the, the tires. It looks pretty good. Even the roll cage, it's kind of, kind of too much. Like there's way too much green on this. What series is this from? Cause I actually don't know. It's called hyper fueled. It's kind of weird. I mean, I really would like to body swap this on a normal grave digger and they have like five of these at Walmart. So I may go back and get a second one so I can body swap one and have uh, the original like this one. So there is the grave digger. The, the graphics are the same. It's just a green background instead of the, the normal black. And now for what all you guys and especially me, what I've been waiting for is the lumberjack. Wow. This is, this truck is so awesome. Never would have thought they made it honestly along with storm damage. Like I know they make independence, but especially lumberjack, this truck doesn't even compete in monster jam. Like I'm very, very glad that spin master was able to make this, but like how, like if they can make this, they can make a lot of cool trucks, like similar to this, like monster jam throwdown trucks. Cause that's basically what lumberjack is, but enough rambling. Let's get this thing out of the package. I've been waiting to get this open all night long. All right, awesome crush card. Just kidding. It's the same color as the other one. They're both orange, but here it is. Now, I believe this truck, like, ignore the logs on the back. This is based off of a Dodge Ram, I believe. But look how thick this truck is. It is very wide. It has very wide fenders on it. And it actually has a painted grill, silver, with the monster symbol in the middle, with painted headlights as well. On the side here, it says Lumberjack with a picture. Let's see, what is that? Uh, It looks like a tree trunk. I have no clue, guys. But that is a very interesting. I should know. Like, I've literally seen this truck, like, twice at Monster Truck Throwdown. My apologies. It has the Monster Gem logo right there. Let's take a look real quick at that. You guys can see what's going on right there. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, for the people who are more educated, please let me know in the comments. I probably look like such a noob trying to describe it. And then on the front here, it just says, what does that even say? I can't even tell if that's a word right there. But under it says Monster Truck. I thought it said Lumberjack Monster Truck, but I don't even know if that is a word above Monster Truck. But we have a nice, like, trees in the background, I guess. It would make sense. I guess this are all trees because look at all the logs in the background so this is probably some like tree company like that takes down trees and cuts them up um i know in here in virginia we have a lot of those kind of trucks around here it's just tree cutting companies so uh that would make sense but i'm still not really sure that's just the guess we have a gray chassis a black roll cage orange wheels once again these also do not match the el toro loco no i do think these do match the storm damage because they were a little darker than the el toro locos uh yeah that that looks about the same honestly lumberjack still may be a little more deeper of an orange but i'm not sure but look at the logs on the back we have the yellow straps on it we have this orange part that like holds the logs intact in place i guess we have the exhaust right there in silver coming out behind the uh the truck right there in the, in the bed that is very very awesome <laughs> this truck is sick so check that out guys there is lumberjack wow probably my favorite truck of this year all together next to boogie van but we'll see i mean we don't we don't i don't have the fire avenger yet i don't have bad company so i can't re-rate mode like making that judgment so far this early into the line of 2022 so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed all these trucks hope you guys enjoyed the in-store as well um finally hit the jackpot um if you guys have not found mix 22 yet make sure to check your easter dump-ins they are showing up in full force at like every single walmart um that i've seen at least all my friends have found them as well so hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching for the final time please like comment and of course subscribe if you guys are new and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out